Hello everyone. Welcome to today's session on interpreting thyroid profile. I am Dr. Arun Kumar and today we will go through this vital aspect of endocrine diagnosis. Our goal is to accurately diagnose and manage thyroid disorders which depend on understanding this test. Let's begin. Objective of today's sessions are collection of sample, introduction, thyroid stimulating hormone, free T3, T4, what are the normal ranges, elevated and low levels, in which conditions these are found and some examples related to these first we start with sample collection. Try to schedule the collection in the morning as thyroid stimulating hormone levels can fluctuate throughout the day. The blood sample is typically collected in a plain or EDTA vial. Thyroid profile test measures the level of thyroid hormone in the blood to assess thyroid function. These include thyroid stimulating hormone, thyroxine that is free T3, triiodothyronine that is free T3 and sometimes additional markers like total T4, total T3 and thyroid antibodies. TSH that is thyroid stimulating hormone, it is a pituitary hormone that regulates the thyroid hormone production. Normal TSH levels range from 0.4 to 4 milli international unit per liter that may vary slightly depend on the laboratory. It indicates a normal functioning thyroid gland. Elevated TSH levels are found in primary hypothyroidism where the TSH level is more than 4 milli international units per liter and low free T4. It signifies the thyroid gland is underactive. Common causes of these findings are Hashimoto's thyroiditis, iodine deficiency, thyroidectomy. Second one is subclinical th hypothyroidism where the TSH level is more than 4 and normal free T4. It is the early stage of hypothyroidism. It is often asymptomatic or with mild symptoms. Then low TSH levels can be found in primary hyperthyroidism that is TSH value is less than 0.4 milli international unit per liter and high free T4 or free T3 or both T4 and T3 are high. It indicate an overactive thyroid. Common causes like Graves disease, thyroiditis, toxic nodule goiter, subclinical hyperthyroidism. Here also TSH levels are less than 0.4 milli international unit per liter and normal free T3 and free T4. It is an early stage of hyperthyroidism. It may be asymptomatic or with mild symptoms. There are some factors which influence the TSH levels like medications like glucocorticoids, dopamine and biotin that can affect TSH levels. Then non-thyroidal illnesses like critical illnesses which can alter the TSH levels. In the pregnancy, TSH reference range differ during the pregnancy. Interpreting TSH levels should always be done in conjunction with the free T3 and free T4 levels, patient history, symptoms and clinical examination to form a comprehensive diagnosis. Now we move on to the free T3 and free T4 levels. So free T4 and free T3 are the active thyroid hormones. Free T4 is a pro-hormone. It is converted into free T3 and it is the more active form of the thyroid hormone. Free T4 normal range is from 0.8 to 1.8 nanogram per deciliter that may vary from laboratory. Significance it indicates the normal thyroid function when correlated with the TSH levels. Elevated free T4 levels are found in primary hyperthyroidism. High free T4 and low TSH indicates an overactive thyroid. Common causes are grave disease, thyroiditis and toxic multinodular goiter. Thyroid hormone resistance. In this, the high, uh, there is high free T4 and normal or high TSH. It indicates a rare condition where tissue are resistant to thyroid hormone effects. Then low free T4 levels along with high TSH are found in primary hypothyroidism which indicate an underactive thyroid. Common causes of these findings are Hashimoto thyroiditis and iodine deficiency. The next cause of low free T4 levels is central hypothyroidism where the T4 levels are low and normal TSH or low TSH range. It indicate a pituitary or hypothalamic disorder. It affect the thyroid hormone production. Now free T3 interpretation which normal range are 2.3 to 4.2 picogram per milliliter. It also vary from the laboratory to laboratory. Significance of this T3 is it indicates normal thyroid function when correlated with TSH and free T4 levels. Then high free T3 levels are found in primary hyperthyroidism and T3 toxicosis. In primary hyperthyroidism, there is high uh, elevated T3 and low TSH, which indicate an overactive thyroid. Common causes like grave disease, thyroiditis, multinodular goiter. In T3 toxicosis, there is high level of free T3 but normal free T4. It is a form of hyperthyroidism where T3 is elevated but T4 remains the normal. 
इट इज ऑफन सीन इन अर्ली हाइपर थायरोजम और इन पेशेंट विद नोडुलर थायरोड डिजीज देन लो लेवल ऑफ फ्री टी थ्री आर फाउंड इन प्राइमरी हाइपोथायरोजम वेयर देर इज ऑल्सो हाई टी एस एच इट इंडिकेट एन अंडर एक्टिव थायरोड यूजली कंपनीड बाई लो फ्री टी फोर कॉमन कॉजेज लाइक हशी मोटो थायरोडाइटिस एंड आयोडिन डेफिशियंसी नेक्स्ट इज यू थायरोड सिक्स सिंड्रोम लो फ्री टी थ्री एंड नॉर्मल फ्री टी फोर एंड नॉर्मल टी एस एच सीन इन क्रिटिकली इल पेशेंट्स वेयर थायरोड फंक्शन इज एल्टर्ड बाई अंडरलाइंग इलनेस इट इज नॉट इंडिकेटिव ऑफ प्राइमरी थायरो डिजीज बट रादर अ रिस्पॉन्स टू सिस्टेमिक इलनेस द फैक्टर विच इन्फ्लुएंस द टी फोर एंड टी थ्री लेवल्स आर मेडिकेशंस लाइक एम्योडेरोन विच ब्लॉक्स द कन्वर्जन ऑफ टी फोर इन टू टी थ्री देन स्टीरियोइड्स एंड बायोटीन विच कैन इफेक्ट थायरोड हॉर्मोन लेवल्स देन एज एंड प्रेगनेंसी थायरोड हॉर्मोन लेवल्स में वेरी विद एज एंड ड्यूरिंग प्रेगनेंसी नॉन थायरोडल इलनेसेज लाइक एक्यूट और क्रोनिक इलनेस दैट कैन एल्टर थायरोड हॉर्मोन लेवल्स नाउ वी मूव ऑन टू एग्जाम्पल्स फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल इज अ पेशेंट प्रेजेंट विद फटी एंड वेट गेन हिज टी एस एच इज फाइव पॉइंट फाइव मिली इंटरनेशनल यूनिट पर लीटर एंड फ्री टी फोर इज वन नैनोग्राम पर डेसी लीटर सो हेयर टी एस एच लेवल इज हाई दिस सजेस्ट सब क्लिनिकल हाइपोथायरोडिजम मोनिटरिंग और कंसिडरिंग लो डोज ऑफ थायरोड हॉर्मोन रिप्लेसमेंट माइट बी स्टार्टेड मूव ऑन टू सेकेंड एग्जाम्पल अ पेशेंट विद टी एस एच एट टेन एंड फ्री टी फोर एट पॉइंट सिक्स प्रेजेंट विद सिग्निफिकेंट सिम्टम्स डेट इज अ सिम्टोमेटिक पेशेंट प्रेजेंट विद हाई टी एस एच एंड लो टी फोर दिस दिस इज इंडिकेट ऑफ एन ओवर्ट हाइपोथायरोडिजम सो हेयर इन दिस केस थायरोड हॉर्मोन रिप्लेसमेंट थेरेपी शुड बी गिवन नाउ थर्ड एग्जाम्पल इज अ पेशेंट हैविंग टी एस एच पॉइंट टू विद फ्री टी फोर एट वन पॉइंट थ्री नैनोग्राम पर डेसीटर एंड माइल्ड सिम्टम्स दिस सजेस्ट लो टी एस एच एंड नॉर्मल टी फोर सो दिस इज अ केस ऑफ सब क्लिनिकल हाइपर थायरोडिजम हेयर ऑब्जर्वेशन एंड पीरियोडिक रियोलेशन शुड बी एडवाइज टू द पेशेंट नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल इज अ पेशेंट विज टी एस एच लेस देन जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन मिली इंटरनेशनल यूनिट पर लीटर एंड फ्री टी फोर एट टू पॉइंट टू नैनोग्राम पर डेसी लीटर दिस इज अ केस ऑफ ओवर हाइपर थायरोडिजम लाइकली रिक्वायरिंग एंटी थायरोड मेडिकेशन और अदर इंटरवेंशन मूव टू नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल a critically ill patient present with abnormal free t4 and t3 levels but normal tsh in this both t3 and t4 are abnormal but there is normal tsh this is suggestive of u thyroid 6 syndrome where thyroid function test is altered due to non thyroidal illness in some cases additional markers like thyroid peroxidase antibodies tpo ab and thyroglobulin antibodies tgab this can help to diagnose autoimmune thyroid diseases elevated thyroid peroxidase antibodies is often seen in hashimoto thyroiditis in conclusion understanding the thyroid profile result is important for accurate diagnosis and effective management of the thyroid disorders i hope this video has provided you with valuable insights thank you for watching and stay tuned with medical guruji for more informative session until next time stay informed and keep improving patient care thank you